This smaller tree here with the shorter stem, this is in the Pinaceae family. Its genus is Suga, and the specific epithet is canadensis. So the species name is Suga canadensis. This is eastern hemlock. Eastern hemlock is a shade tolerant, probably one of the more shade tolerant conifers. And here it is growing a bit in the understory. It's also a fairly old lived tree, or can be. Here it's a young tree, so not particularly large, but don't let that fool you, these can get quite a bit bigger. Let's take a closer look at some of the identifying characteristics. The bark of eastern hemlock has plates, doesn't quite peel off, but they have a little bit of separation, um, so that you can see just a little underneath it, typically a gray, maybe a little brown on the underside. This can be increase in thickness as the tree gets older. This is a fairly young and fairly small tree, and so the bark is not particularly thick. As with many trees, the bark changes in texture from a smoother to more textured as it ages. Here you can see how the twigs and needles sit on the twig to get a sense of what you might expect on the tree itself. Looking more closely at the needles, you can see that they are singly attached, and occasionally you'll see a needle that's flipped upside down, and those two little lines, those white lines that you see, those are called stomatal lines. You can see one over here as well. we flip the entire over, you can see that the rest of the undersides also have those white stomato lines. The newer green that we see here is lighter in color. As the needles get a little older, they do darken in their coloration. Here you can see cones are born singly on a twig and then they primarily hang downward, and you can see a little bit of the cone scales. We can take a closer look at the cones. Here is a little closer view of the cones. You get a sense of their size, smaller than maybe your thumb or about the size of your thumbnail. The cone scales are more papery, not as woody as a pine cone, so similar to what you would see in the spruce. And then inside the cone is where the seeds would eventually fall out. It can be a little hard to see the tree form on a young tree, especially when surrounded by others that are distorting its form a bit. But if we focus on just this small tree in the foreground, we can go up and see that it maintains a single trunk throughout until we get to the top. The top of eastern hemlock will often flop over, sort of like a cane handle or a shepherd's crook, and then it straightens each year to produce a straight trunk for continued growth.